Hi friends, myself Subrata Mukherjee and you are watching my channel Dr. Subrata Mukherjee Distance Learning in Commerce. Today I am going to discuss another problem on departmental accounting. This is lecture number 5 and you can find the other lectures of the chapter in the playlist section of the channel. Bubbles Limited has three operating departments. The details of operations of each department during 2021 had been as follows. So we have three departments, department 1, 2 and 3. Sales to customers 4 lakh, 6 lakh and 8 lakhs. Purchases from outsiders 3 lakh, 4 lakh and 5 lakhs. Opening stock out of local purchase is 80,000, 1 lakh and 1 lakh 20,000. Transfer to department 3. The goods has been transferred from department 1 to department 3 for rupees 1 lakh 35,000. Closing stock 50,000, 50,000 and 1 lakh. Now the common expenses. Selling commission 36,000, depreciation 45,000, administration expenses 1,60,000, interest on capital 90,000. Stock of department 3 includes 20% transfers from department 1. Prepare departmental profit and loss account and ascertain the net profit of the company after considering the following details. So we have the three departments, 1, 2 and 3, the fixed assets installed for rupees 360,000, 2 lakh and 1 lakh 60,000. Capital employed 2 lakh, 3 lakh and 3 lakh. Administration expenses to be shared in the ratio of 4 is to 3 is to 3. And department 1 transfers supplies to department 3 at normal selling price less 10%. So we will prepare the departmental trading and profit and loss account first. So I have prepared the structure of the departmental trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st December 2021. On the debit side I have prepared four column particulars department 1, 2 and 3 and on the credit side also I have prepared the four column particulars department 1, 2 and 3. So first of all we are going to write the sales figure. So on the credit side I am writing the sales of rupees 4 lakh 6 lakh and 8 lakhs. The opening stock I have to record here and here I would like to mention that the opening stock do not include any goods transferred from the other department. So opening stock is totally from outside purchase. So 80,000 is the opening stock of department 1, 1 lakh is the opening stock of department 2 and 1,20,000 is the opening stock of department 3. So the purchases from outsiders of the department were 3 lakh for department 1, then 4 lakhs for department 2 and 5 lakhs for department 3. Now there was a transfer made by department 1. So on the credit side I have to write here as by transfer and in the column of department 1, I am going to write 1,35,000. So this transfer was made to department 3. So on the debit side also, I have to write here as to transfer. And in the column of department 3, I will write 1,35,000. Then the closing stock of the three departments were 50,000 for department 1. 50,000 for department 2 and 1 lakh for department 3. So we will get the gross profit of the three departments. So gross profit of the three departments were 2,5,000 for department 1, then 1,50,000 for department 2 and 1,45,000 for department 3. So this way I have prepared the trading account for the three departments. Please have a look at it. 
then the gross profit I am going to write on the credit side of the profit and loss account as two lakh five thousand, one lakh fifty thousand, and one lakh forty five thousand. So there were common expenses, and the first expense was selling commission. So selling commission of rupees thirty six thousand, I am going to distribute. On the basis of sales, in the ratio of two is to three is to four, so you will get eight thousand for department one, twelve thousand for department two, and sixteen thousand for department three. So the amount of depreciation for rupees forty-five thousand, I am going to distribute among the departments in the ratio of fixed assets. And the fixed assets were in the ratio of nine is to five is to four, so forty-five thousand will be distributed as twenty-two thousand five hundred five hundred to department one, twelve thousand five hundred to department two, and ten thousand to department three. Then the administration expenses are to be distributed on the basis of. The ratio given in the question in four is to three is to three. Total administration expenses for rupees one lakh sixty thousand sixty four thousand will be the administration expense for department one. Forty eight thousand is the administration expense for department two, and forty eight thousand is the administration expense for department three. Then interest on capital employed will be. Allocated to the departments on the basis of capital employed. So here I am writing interest on capital employed. So on the basis of capital employed, and the capital was employed in the ratio of two is to three is to three. So ninety thousand is the amount of interest on capital, and it is to be allocated. To the department as twenty two thousand five hundred to department one, thirty three thousand seven hundred fifty to department two, and thirty three thousand seven hundred fifty to department three. Now it's time to calculate the amount of net profit. So net profit of the three departments were eighty eight thousand for department one. Then forty-three thousand seven hundred fifty is the amount of net profit for Department Two. And thirty-seven thousand two hundred fifty is the amount of net profit of Department Three. So this way, I have prepared the profit and loss account of the three departments. So this is the trading and profit and loss account of the three departments. In one screen, please have a look at it. Now it's time to find out what is the amount of unrealized profit in stock. There was a transfer made by Department One to Department Three for rupees one lakh thirty-five thousand, and this transfer was made at ten percent below the normal selling price. So we will find here what is the amount of unrealized profit. So here I am preparing the working note. Number one. So, what is the amount of sales of Department One at normal selling price? So, sales made by Department One to outsider is for rupees four lakh, and one lakh thirty-five thousand is the amount of transfer made to Department Three. And this one lakh thirty-five thousand has been transferred at ninety percent of the normal selling price. So I have multiplied this one lakh thirty-five thousand with hundred and divided by ninety. So four lakh plus one lakh fifty thousand. So five lakh fifty thousand is the normal selling price of Department One. So gross profit. Of Department One 
at normal selling price gross profit of department 1 we have calculated at 25000 we will add 15000 with the amount of gross profit because the transfer made by department 1 to department 3 was made below 15000 than the normal selling price so the gross profit of department 1 at normal selling price was 220000 therefore the gp rate that is the gross profit rate of department 1 was 40%. What does this 40% represent? This represents that the cost of goods transferred was 60% of the normal selling price. So cost of purchase for goods transferred is 60% of the normal selling price. So normal selling price was 150,000 but actual selling price that is the transfer price was 135,000 which was made 10% below the normal selling price. So what is the cost of purchase made by department 1? So this is 90,000. The transfer price of department 1 was a rupees 135,000. Therefore, profit made by department 1 was rupees 45,000. Now we have to calculate the unrealized profit in closing stock. Unrealized profit in the closing stock of department 3. So rupees 1 lakh was the closing stock of department 3 and 20% of rupees 1 lakh included the goods transferred by department 1. So 20,000 is the amount of closing stock that has been transferred by department 1 to department 3. So we have to multiply this figure with 45,000 that is the amount of profit made by department 1 and 1,35,000 is the amount of transfer price. So the unrealized profit in the closing stock of department 3 was rupees 6,667. So how we have calculated this is the amount of closing stock multiplied with the percentage of goods representing goods transferred. Then we have multiplied with the amount of profit made on transfer and the transfer price we have divided this figure with the amount of transfer price. So please have a look at the working that we have made here. We have calculated the amount of unrealized profit in the closing stock of department 3. So in the question the gross profit rate made by department 1 is not given. So we have to calculate the gross profit rate of department 1 at normal selling price. In the trading account of department 1 you will find the two sales. One is the sales to outsider and another figure is the sales made to department 3. But these two sales were made at a different price. So we have to calculate the sales of department 1 at normal selling price by converting the transfer price at normal selling price. So we have multiplied the transfer price of rupees 135,000 with 100 and divided it with 90 because the transfer was made at 10% below the normal selling price. So we have calculated the normal selling price at 5,50,000. 
the gross profit was increased by 15,000 because there was a reduction in the sales price that is the transfer price by 15,000. So the normal amount of gross profit made by the department would have been 220,000 and the gross profit rate we have calculated at 40%. So what does this mean? This means that the cost of purchase made by department one is the 60% of the normal selling price. So normal selling price or the transfer price is 150000 So we have multiplied with 60% and arrived at 90000 So 90000 is the cost of purchase that was transferred by department 1 to department 3. And the transfer price was at 135000 So profit made by department 1 was 45000 So what is the amount of unrealized profit in the closing stock? So total amount of closing stock of department 3 was 1 lakh and 20% of it include the, the goods transferred by department one. So 20,000 we have multiplied with the amount of profit that is the 45,000 and divided it with 135,000 that is the amount of transfer price. So the unrealized profit in the closing stock of department three was rupees 6,637. So below the profit and loss account I am going to write the combined profit and loss account that is the profit and loss account of the company as a whole. So combined profit and loss account. So by net profit, we have calculated 1,69,000 because the sum total of the three net profit that is 88,000 plus 43,750 plus 37,250, it will get 1,69,000. So there was no provision for unrealized profit in the opening stock because the total value of opening stock represents purchase from outsiders and on the debit side I have to write to provision for unrealized profit in closing stock of department 3 for 6667 so general profit and loss was rupees 1,62,333. Hope all the students have been able to understand the solution. All students have written the questions with solution in your notebook. If you find any difficulty in understanding, feel free to contact with me through email and the number given in the description. Thanks for watching the lecture.